Hi, this is a short video on hand reflexology and how hand reflexology can help you with uh, digestive problems. Uh, this is uh, not a substitute to medical care, it just helps the body to balance itself. So I'm going to start off with uh, just going through this website, which is the Association of Reflexologists website. It's a fantastic association for reflexologists and it has uh, a lot of different resources that everybody can use. So on this website, which is www.aor.org.uk, you can click on the Explore Our Interactive Maps and click on Interactive Hand Map. So I'm just going to show you when you click on this, this other screen appears where you can see the palms of the hands, and the back of the hands, the dorsal side, and you can click on the different reflexes to see where um, every part is reflected uh, in the body and where you can actually apply pressure in the hands to help that part of the body balance. So let us start with a short little routine that I'm going to go through with you for digestive issues. The key is to start with the right hand. It just gives you um, some help to be able to have a structure to your hand reflexology. And we will start with the ascending and transverse colon. Okay, so you start where the wrist is. And the main thing to remember is when you are doing the right hand, you, the direction of your strokes or your finger walking is from the fifth uh, finger to the thumb. So if you can remember that, that will just help uh, you uh, with, all, with, the, with the actual um, exercises. So just stroke or finger walk or small little circles just alongside the ascending colon and the transverse colon. You can do this about three times or five times or for a minute or two. Just simple strokes you can see my my mouse here just simple strokes over here and you can just do the same on the stomach area and just remember you're going from the fifth uh, you got you're going towards the thumb so just from the outside so from your fifth um, finger to the thumb and you can do the same with the pancreas going towards the thumb. So just see when I'm actually clicking on the pancreas, you can actually see the pancreas. Uh, you could just see it there, the stomach is here. And then when you click on the pancreas, you can see um, it's a bit difficult to actually just select the pancreas without actually going onto the reflex. But you can see how the different parts of the body are reflected in this chart. So yes, yeah, so, you, you've, so you've done the, the ascending colon and the trans transverse colon, the stomach area, and then you've done the pancreas. And then you can do a little bit of the, of the intestines as well. So you can just go from the fifth finger towards the uh, thumb area. And you can just again stroke and, or just do gentle finger walking. That's the right hand. The left hand is a continuation of the right hand, so the direction of the left hand is going away from the thumb. So you continue with the transverse colon and the descending colon, right? Like in like a uh, like you, you can you see it as a C here when you have your 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 hands faced in this direction. So you're just going in that direction, and then you can do the stomach as well pancreas and then finish off with the small intestines. The last point the reflex that I wanted to show you is a teeth reflex which is on um, the dorsal side of the hands just below the um, thumb, the nail, the, the nail of the thumb. So that's the teeth, you can see it shining on the picture. There, you can see the that's the teeth, which corresponds to this little green area below the nail of the thumb. So how often should you do this? If you can do it every day, it's advisable. Just a few minutes uh, regularly every day, once or twice a day, would definitely help balance your 
digestive system.